him. Let's adore the Lord. Give unto the Lord, ye kindred of the people. Give unto the Lord glory that is due unto his name. Give to the Lord the glory and strength. I bring an offering to the Lord from first of Chronicles 16 and verse 28. Lord, we have come to give unto the Lord glory and honor that is due to you for all of your wonders or your grace, your mercy, the miracle, the signs, and the wonders from this altar. Lord, thank you, and thank you again. Be glorified. There is none like you. Adonai, in Jesus' name we are praying. John 17 and in verse 5. John 17 and in verse 5. 
And now, O oh Father, glorify thy name with thy own same, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Lift your voice tonight and make the Lord, O oh God, on this altar. Let glory be released. Let glory be allocated to everyone connected, related tonight, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we ask for your hand on your servant. Anoint him afresh, Lord. For our sake, Lord, in the name of Jesus, thank you for answer to prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody say, Amen. Hallelujah. Wake up somebody, call a friend. It's a glory. I look at the night. They cannot afford to sleep. Wake somebody right now, and the Lord will bless them in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. As we wake up, they praise him to take us further.
celebrate and celebrate. Give Jesus a big clap of it. Please, right now, call your loved ones, call your sisters, your siblings, call your friends, those that you know they need to connect right now. Please call them. Just text message may not be able to wake someone up right now. Let's go quickly tonight. Testimony from Mr. George Yu. I, you, I, from Abuja. Above only greetings to these amazing people of God. Commanding the day midnight prayers have done me and my household well. Lately, I noticed a recurring stomach ache. Sometimes on the right side and sometimes on the left side. I intentionally refused to take any medications for it. So I presented it to God during the personal supplications on 17th on the 17th of March 2024 I heard a testimony concerning HIV positive changed to negative with an evidence my faith grew stronger and I told God in my personal supplication that if this person can get such a mind blowing testimony that my case is a walkover I prayed fervently that night brethren as I slept after the prayers, I found myself in a surgical theater. My stomach was cut open and a big fleshy stuff was pulled out. Very scary. I woke up immediately and noticed that the pain was completely gone. Hallelujah. Gone forever. To God alone be all the glory. God bless everyone contributing to the success and sustenance of this wonderful global prayer movement. Amen. Hallelujah. Testimony from Mrs. M. From Ogun State. Above only, that's my place. There is God on this altar of dunamis. I had a C-section last year. And since then, I have been going through pains. Last night after Dr. Paul, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche prayed on the oil and made brutal declarations. Then I applied the oil, the anointing oil, on the surgical site and slept after the command of the day midnight prayers. Ola, ola, ola. I had a dream of the night of another C section again where a doctor was removing things from my body and putting some things in my body. I was very weak right in the dream and I started vomiting uncontrollably. Brethren, I woke up feeling very okay. No pain again. I have come to give God all the praise. May God continue to use my spiritual parents mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. And God bless all the commanding the day midnight prayer crew. Amen. I decree in the name that is above every name, Jesus the resurrected Lord, every satanic deposit in your body, tonight it shall be retrieved and refired back to hell in the name of Jesus. Amen. Testimony from Sister Peace from Kaduna State. She said, above only, that's my place. I was in the living room praying during the commanding the day midnight prayer on the 18th of March, 2024. My husband just stepped in from the bathroom. I heard a sound from our bedroom that caught my attention at about 12.35 a.m. I said, could that be the ceiling fan? I moved to the bedroom door and behold, our ceiling fan in the bedroom had fallen and landed on our bed. What would have happened if we, were, if we had gone to bed? What would have happened if our child was lying on the bed? I return all the glory to God, to the all-knowing God for this great miracle of preservation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, wow. Directly like that. Directly on the bed. Directly like this. Give the Lord a big clap of hand. Preservation is your portion in Jesus' name. And finally, in this segment, Mrs. Ogugwa from Enugu. She said, good morning, command the day midnight prayer family. I've come to return all glory to God for remembering my husband's family. My husband and his brothers are experiencing this going round in circle syndrome. At a stage in their lives, they will be very rich and established, but after some years, they will fall back to zero level, such that feeding their families becomes a problem. 
My husband has been a very successful international businessman, but suddenly everything began to disappear. His customers began to owe him in millions and were refusing to pay. The lands he bought were having issues and they refused to refund, uh, refund him. Right now, he is back to the country with nothing. But God remembered us on Monday, the 11th of March. God's servant mentioned his case. He said, there is a name that has two O's and two G's. And has, and has okay, the person that has a rope tied on his leg, who gets to the top and comes down to square one. Immediately, I knew it was my husband. Their family name is Ogugua. Of course, two O's and two G's. He said, the witchcraft spirit is broken. I know that God has remembered us and it's a new season for us. I'm also believing God that all the people owing my husband will pay him and all his lands given back to him or his money is refunded. God bless all Command the Day Midnight Prayer Crew for making yourselves available to God. Our above only season has finally come. Thank you, Jesus. And let's see that declaration. Receive your visitation. The name has two G's and two O's. Man, guys, it's, it's part of the name G, two, and O is two like Coco. Master Coco la tefina gagala hosani. Le pretona gala ratasana gagala ratasana. I take authority over that rope. That kind of rope that they tie on the leg of, of, of a circus elephant. Let the fratasata kadila la hosada. You move as if you are about to hit something and then it drags you all the way back to where you are coming from before. Hashana galalala. Let the paradagalala. It is like rising all the way up and then coming all the way to the floor where you left or going all the way to the front and returning back to where you will go. They won't stop you from going, but you reach a certain point and they drag you all the way back. I take authority over that witchcraft altar and everybody hearing the sound of my voice, every witchcraft altar that is manipulating your life, man, shut up. as if they want to mock your life. They let you go very far, as if the relationship is about to end in marriage, then they pull you back all the way. They let you go very far, as if you're about to clinch the job, then they pull you all the way back. Today, that altar and that rope is set on fire. Hey, stand on your feet and let's celebrate the King of Kings. Every rope they used to tie down your life and destiny is set on fire. Let's go. Mighty God, blessed be your name in Jesus' name. You may be comfortably seated anywhere you are tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We want to give God praise for his faithfulness. We thank God for these amazing testimonies that we keep hearing night after night. God delivered that family. If they were not up and in the living room for the commanding the day midnight prayer, what would have happened if that fan fell on them and their child? 
God is a faithful God. We give him all the glory and the praise. Let's take a look at a few more testimonies tonight. Mrs. O.J. Happiness from Anambra says, Above only, that is my place. Children of God, she has come to return all the glory to God for showing her mercy. She was introduced to commanding the day midnight prayer in early January 2024. And since then, it has been from glory to glory. Brethren, these testimonies are real low. In 2021, she was diagnosed with high blood sugar. But that was always at the range of 200 to 375 milligrams per deal. And she takes the drugs twice every day since 2021 till that early January 2024 when one of her sisters introduced her to this great commission and she has believed and keyed into every declaration that was made upon this altar. On one of the days in January 2024, after seeing what God was doing here, she told her husband that she's not going to take do uh, those drugs again by faith. Her husband immediately agreed without com compromise. Hey! Ola, 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 ola. No medication since then till eternity. And her sugar level has returned to normal. She now eats everything that a normal person can eat. This can only be God. God bless you all for availing yourselves to be used by this great God. She's coming back with more testimonies. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Give the Lord the praise. Wow. Praise the Lord. Calvary greetings. Uh, and that sister, ensure that you get to see your doctor. You do your A1C and um, that's to check it over the next three months and have it checked and then testify with the test results as well as uh, the declarations. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Testimony from Maurice from Calabas says, Calvary greetings to the commanding the day midnight prayer family. He's a member of Dynamis National Gospel Center, Calabas Central. He's here to return all praise to the God of this commission for arresting a fire incident at his hotel in Calabar during the declaration of the 7th of March, 17th 17. of March, 2024, at the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer Service. Our Father in the Lord, Dr. Paul Enenche, announced his case. He said, and he quotes, that God showed him a fire incident that God has arrested. He will give you a sign that the enemy wanted to burn down your house, burn down your office. Allah, 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 Allah. Brethren, please note that he did not say that God will arrest. Rather, God's servant himself said, God has already arrested the fire. Earlier that day, at the commanding the day midnight prayer, he received a call from his hotel at about 11.20, notifying him that there was a major fire incident but that it was contained. The report was very serious because it was an AC outdoor unit that breached on the topmost floor of the hotel and the fire had reached the roof of the building. However, to the glory of, the, of God, of this commission, it was arrested. So during the personal supplication, while thanking God for arresting the fire, he asked him to mention the fire case since he's never mentioned his case before. And God did in a spectacular manner. He mentioned his case in the present tense. And as if it was not enough, our Father in the Lord went ahead to mention an aspect of his life that had been a major concern. He proclaimed that you are laboring, you are anxious, tonight is the end. And he declared a turn around. Brethren, he walks like an elephant, but reaps or eats at a, as an ant. He believes that his story will indeed experience a total turnaround as declared by the servant of God in the mighty name of Jesus. The pictures and the declarations attached. Glory be to Glory. God. That's mighty intervention. It's obviously just God. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Let's hear the declaration. In the name of Jesus, God showed me a fire incident that he has arrested. He will give you a sign. That the enemy wanted to burn down your house he wanted to burn down your office before this week is out and that agenda is frustrated 
it will not happen in the name of jesus i prophesy to everybody here every calamity every disaster every catastrophe organized for the devil for you against you this week it is cancelled hallelujah let's take a look at another one sister tabitha from taraba says above only that is my place the lord is good oh she joined the commanding the day midnight prayer since january 2024 through a friend that shared the link she advised her to always join the program she has been following it since then during the personal supplication she always asked god to settle her maritally her word came on the 8th of february 2024 and as god's servant always says what he says to one he says to all senior pastor said there is this man that has h in his name and the person was born on the 16th of april every satanic embargo placed on your life is lifted in jesus name he said i break every attack on your marital destiny it is broken in jesus name she shouted amen that's exactly her case although she's a woman but there's h in her name <laughs> and her date of birth is 16th of april the lord has answered her prayers after the declaration she got engaged on the 16th of hallelujah <laughs> one month to her birthday <laughs> praise the lord she has come to return all the glory to god she prays this will last forever ensure that the bed is not defiled no premarital relationship and indeed it will last forever let's finish it up she will come back with more testimonies and her wedding pictures by god's grace god bless you all hallelujah. declaration attached I see a man that's, uh, that has a name that starts with a H and then your, 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 your date of birth is the 16th of April. I declare today, every satanic embargo that is placed on your life, that embargo is lifted. Every attack on your marital destiny, I declare it is broken. Hey! 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 The conspiracy is broken. The conspiracy is broken. The conspiracy is broken. Now who shall the name of an age? Like a parata sacolagayada is a new Hallelujah. Give the Lord a big clap and the Lord a shout of praise. It is broken. In Jesus' name. Amazing. Hallelujah. And then Edikan from Akwa Ibom says, Greetings, God's family. He has returned to give God all the glory and praise for remembering him on the 10th of March. A prophetic word from God's servant that settled his case was declared thus. A person with a name that has an A and a K in it, the spell of limitation and embargo is broken. Doors are open. Even though you are smallish, smallish in, physic, in, in the physical you, are a, you have a mega destiny and every agenda of the devil making you to be despised and tolerated and taken for granted is broken. This has been his case where people just take him for granted, despise, despise him, and they seem to be tolerating him. Immediately after this declaration, like a dream, things changed overnight. Long career delays were broken. And people just began placing value on God's grace upon his life. God restored broken relationship with loved ones that Satan manipulated with attacks anytime. Anytime he communicates with them, he shall again, re he shall again return to complete the testimony of destiny fulfillment. God alone be praised. Declaration is attached. To everyone here today. The, 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 the limit placed on you is, is, is lifted. In the name that is above every name, embargo is lifted. Door is opened. I'm speaking in particular to a person by the name that has a K. Leo Fasana Gagalagara Husani Nanana. Leo Tefrata Sata Koko Lakaratana Nanana. Even though you appear smallish in the physical, but I announced today, you have a mega big destiny. And every, every, every agenda of the enemy to make you, to cause you to be despised and to cause you to be tolerated and taken for granted and rejected, even from among family members, I declare that agenda is broken. And you are here with a testimony and this is the stone that the builders rejected. 
that he's become the head of the corner. It is the Lord doing and this is marvelous in our sight. In this, in a, in a season, in a short time. And everyone who is ready to receive this, receive this. If you have been a stone that the builders rejected, evil rejection from your father's house in a short while to come, the same people who rejected you shall be looking for your help and looking for your adaptation uh, to your validation and looking for your favor in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, we are meant to celebrate, right? Go ahead and let's celebrate one minute. Let's go, let's go. and the Lord of Lords, a big clap and a loud shout of praise. I see the visitation of God very, very heavy here tonight. Wake somebody up right now. It's a day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Lamentation chapter 3, verse 22, all the way to verse 23. So the Lord's message is that we are not consumed. Left for the devil would have been consumed sins because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy, is thy faithfulness. Every day, we are confronted with new mercies. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, ah, thank you thank for your faithfulness and loving kindness. And loving kindness. Be, glorified. Be glorified. Oh Lord, oh Lord. in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Father, Father, thank you Father, for your faithfulness and loving kindness. Loving kindness. Be, glorified. Be glorified in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Again, Father, thank you Father, for your loving kindness. For your loving kindness. For your faithfulness and loving kindness, be glorified, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you're if you're if you're saying amen, shout the loudest amen. amen. Psalm 103, verse 1, all the way to verse 5 and verse 7. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. Who, rest, who redeemeth thy life from destruction. Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Who satisfied thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Verse 7 said, he made known his ways unto Moses and his acts. Unto the children of Israel. We are recipients of his acts. And we are going to appreciate him for the privilege of witnessing his acts every single day. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for your continual, for your continual acts, of acts of love and mercy, and mercy in our midst. Be glorified, glorified. O oh Lord, oh. in the name of Jesus. Again, say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for your continual acts, acts of, love of love and mercy and in our midst. Be glorified, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray.
Jesus precious name. Matthew chapter 16 and in verse 18, the Bible said, And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I'll build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father we bring into the field every, every agenda of the gates of hell the gates of against hell. your acts in our midst. We decree your total failure and frustration, and frustration. O oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father, we bring, we bring into the field every agenda every of the gates of hell against, against your acts in, in our midst. We decree your total failure and frustration, and frustration, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, the Lord heard and answered us. Shout the Lord and say amen. Shout the Lord and say amen. Psalm 114 and in verse 1 all the way to verse 4. He said, when Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob, from a people of a strange language, Judah was his sanctuary and Israel was his dominion. The sea saw it and fled. Judah was driven back. The mountains skipped like rams and the little hills like lambs. We are stepping out today with the presence of the Lord and we shall uproot mountains. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father. Father. Loud and say, Father. Father. I, step I step into this new day this new with the authority with your and dominion and of your presence and, your and compel all mountains, all mountains and obstacles to give way. Oh Lord, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Say, Father, Father. I, step I step into this new day, this new day with the authority with your and dominion and of your presence and I compel all mountains, all mountains and obstacles and to give way, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. pray. In Jesus precious name. Amen. The Lord heard and answered us in Jesus name. Amen. Mark chapter 16 and in verse 20. He said and they went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord walking with them and confirming the word with signs following. Somebody say a loud amen. amen. Today is your day of signs and wonders. Amen. Step into signs and wonders. Amen. Lift your voice and say Father, Father I declare this new day as my day of miracles, signs and wonders by the agency of your presence. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Say Father, I declare this new day as my day of miracles and, and signs and wonders by the agency of your presence. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray.
name of Jesus. Father, we give you the praise and give you the honor. Somebody shout the Lord and say, Amen. Psalm 84 and verse 11. Psalm 84 and verse 11. For the Lord God is the sun and shield, and the Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Lift your voice and say, Father, I take full delivery of every good thing you have chosen to release to me today. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I take full delivery of every good thing you have chosen to release to me today. I receive them now in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth and pray. Jesus, precious name. The Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 to 29. He said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your soul. Somebody is going to rest today. We have come unto him with our burdens. And we are receiving rest. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, have come we have come unto you today, unto you today on this prayer altar. This prayer altar. And we receive answers. And we receive rest in all areas. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, we have come unto you today on this prayer altar. And we receive answers and rest in all areas. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you the praise and we give you the honor for hearing and answering us in Jesus' name. Amen. Will you wake somebody up and let us deal with forces of hell right now? Job chapter 8 and in verse 22. Job 8, they shall, they, now everybody read it one to go. They, they that, that hate thee shall, shall be clothed with shame. Amen. And the dwelling place of the wicked shall come to naught. Somebody shout hallelujah. Lift your voice and say, Father, we ask that both the wicked and the wicked and the wicked will come to naught today, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Now, before they come to wickedness, those who hate you, hate me, hate us for no just reason. Shame will be the address. God will give them yards of shame. They will sow it and wear. That is, they are clothing material is shame. And you will see it in this season. They will come to you begging. 
Amen. They will be unable to stare you in the face. Amen. Now pray that prayer now. Say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that both the wicked and their wickedness will come to naught today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, we ask that both the wicked and their wickedness will come to naught today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray your mother, pray. Jesus. The Lord has said and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody shout the Lord and say amen. amen. Somebody shout the Lord must say amen. amen. Psalm 11 and in verse 6. Psalm 11 and in verse 6. Upon the wicked it shall rain snares. It shall rain fire. It shall rain brimstone. It shall give them a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, release we release the fire, the fire of your judgment on every altar. On every altar. Or priest position, position for destruction, for destruction, destruction, destruction disease, 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 death, death delay, delay, evil report, evil report or, bad or bad news today. We declare them roasted by fire. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, we release the fire of your judgment on every altar. Or priest position for destruction, for destruction, for disease, for death, delay, evil report, or bad news today. We declare them. Roasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Anyone saying amen, shout the Lord, amen. amen. I want us to read all these passages together. First, Isaiah 35 and in verse 2. Isaiah 35, one to go. He shall blossom abundantly and rejoice even with joy and sing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given unto it. The excellency of Carmel and, and Sharon. They shall see shall the, glory the glory of the Lord and the excellency of our God. God. The glory of Lebanon. Somebody say the glory of Paul. Call your name. The glory of Becky shall be given to him. Shall be given to me. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 60 and in verse 1, he said, Arise, shine. Everybody read it again. Want to go. Arise, shine. For thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Say aloud, amen. amen. Acts chapter 9, verse 35. Acts 9, 35. Sorry, not there. 1 Corinthians 15, 41. 1 Corinthians 15. Now, one, one to go. There is one glory of the sun, another glory of the moon, another glory of the stars, for one star different from another star in glory. You are a star, and there is a glory for you. Amen. And that glory will explode today. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, I ask that the glory that is due me, that belongs to my life and destiny, be released today, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. You can say, Father, I ask that the glory that is due me, that belongs to my life and destiny, will be released today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. pray.
In the name of Jesus. The Lord has said and answered us in Jesus' name. Acts chapter 9 and verse 35. Acts 9 and all that dwelt at Leda and Saron saw him and turned to the Lord. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that you will turn whole cities Lord, and nations and to yourself to your in salvation and discipleship through your acts of this altar. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, say, Father, we ask that you will turn whole cities and nations to yourself in salvation and discipleship through your acts of this altar. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, go ahead, open your mouth up. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. Amen. Somebody believes God has a head and answer, shout the Lord and say, Amen. Give him a big clap and a loud shout of praise. Wake somebody up and let them know that we that God is on the throne and at, at work on this altar as we in a short while proceed into personal supplication after some testimonies. Let's go, celebrations. You are the mighty, 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 mighty God. Shout of praise. One more time, wake somebody up and please be seated as we proceed into test further testimonies before personal supplication. This is Engineer US from Abuja. I engage the commanding the day midnight prayer since its inception in October 2023. I want to appreciate the God of wonders at work at the commanded day midnight prayer altar who has healed me of a deadly lump and tumor at my back about three years ago a small lump the size of a wart popped out on my back almost around the spinal area close to the left shoulder blade it wasn't painful so i didn't bother as it appeared insignificant but around september 2023 I started feeling pains at the spot. That devil is a bastard. By December 2023, the pain worsened with pus coming out from the spot. I then had to undergo incision and drainage at a clinic in the second week of January 2024, hoping to bring an end to the usual loss that marked the beginning of the crisis.
entire body became allergic to air, water, and everything in between with goosebumps with each exposure. Wow. I panicked and became very fearful as the thought of cancerous tumor came flashing through my mind. Yes, that is easy to flash. Easy to flash because when a, a harmless growth becomes painful, then it becomes suspicious. Very fearful as the thought of cancerous tumor came flashing through my mind. It then dawned on me that there was more to it than meets the eye. That was when I started applying the anointing oil and raising it in my personal supplications through the commanded name in my prayer and came into the daily declarations of evil load back to hell by the senior pastor. Then in February, the goosebumps disappeared and the allergic reaction stopped. It was during the second week of March that the incision site got completely healed. Glory to God. Amazing how a little lump could escalate into a life-threatening situation. Thank God he got arrested by fire. Praise the Lord. I announce today, anything that is threatening your life currently, we declare is arrest by fire in the name of Jesus. Shout the Lord and say amen. Mrs. Patricia A. from Abuja. Greetings to this great family of God. I've come to return all the glory to God for breaking the yoke of servitude of my life. I've had countless dreams of serving in a relative's house. That I had stayed before now. I see myself doing house chores in that house. And even when I saw myself in my own house. The man of that house was in charge of my house in the dream. Are you hearing this? Even when she saw herself in her own house. The man of the former house where she served. Was still in charge of her house in the dream. Let's go. The senior pastor clearly stated my case and took authority over that demonic manipulation. I believe my liberation and restoration is here. Thank you, Jesus. Secondly, I am thanking God for arresting the spirit of autism from my son of five and giving him a new brain. He has been a real concern to me and literally running my life. But he is a lot calmer Aya, after the declaration. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Declaration videos attached. See the first one. And I speak to everyone hearing the sound of my voice. That spell of servitude, of slavery. See yourself cleaning toilets. See yourself farming permanently for a wicked man or woman. The master you once served. You see yourself still serving him in your dreams. Hey, I take authority. Ah. And you dreamt in the dream. And you saw yourself, and I'm talking to somebody now, in your house, your own house in the dream. But in that dream, you saw a former so-called master that was still in charge of, of, of your house in your dream. And said, why? What's happening? Why is it? Why, how can this be? I take authority over that spell, that witchcraft spell, that spell of manipulation that is making you to, to, to still be a servant when you have already been free. I declare that yoke is broken. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of autism is arrested. I'm talking to a mother. You are concerned about your autistic child. Very, very restless and very, very, very house upside down. He wakes up in the morning as cool as ice and you'll be wondering what happened autism gone to hell forever a child that is literally running your life see at around that age like three between three and five wow. just running your life i declare that yoke is broken and every autistic child where a parent is connected right now i declare the yoke is broken god will give the child a new brain and as you wake up in the morning send us a text message Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. What a mighty, mighty, mighty God. Everything that has become a concern in your life, God is handling them now in Jesus' name. Let's go. Sister Eunice Audu from Gombe State. Above all, is my place, family. I greet you all in Jesus' name. My heart is filled with gratitude to the Lord, Almighty His servants, Dr. Pastor Paul and Dr. Mrs. Becky and the entire Commander Day prayer team for creating such a platform for us to experience God's grace and mercy. May the Lord bless you all. Last year, October, 
my sister invited me to join the prayer altar. But I wasn't serious with it. This year in February, the, the devil challenged my health. And that made me to become steadfast. You see, he became sick. See, people have a way of becoming serious with the things of God only when problems arise. That is crisis management lifestyle. It's not good. Don't try to build the ark when the, the, the flood comes. Let the ark be available. All right, let's go. If her health was challenged, then she became serious at the place of prayer. Let's go. On the 12th of March, the servant of God declared that there is someone he saw in a warm water. And the Lord said that that's the, that's the person who cannot do anything with cold water due to an allergy and affliction. He took authority over that affliction and, and I immediately claimed it and sealed it to the sea. People of God, that was me. I dare not use cold water no matter how hot the weather is. If I do, I will end up with terrible flu or pains in my joints. Because of that, I've, I've always avoided using cold water to bath or drink, even during hot seasons. I remember when I was in secondary school, I had to present a doctor's report to the school so that I'll be giving hot water in my water flask every day. That has been my situation for the past 30 years. But when the Lord heard my cry and gave me his peace, now I'm free. Since the word came, I've been drinking my cold water in peace. I'm bathing with water at room temperature. And guess what? No flu. And the pains in my joints have stopped. Hey, this kind of love and mercy is beyond me. And I don't take his grace for granted as I look forward to sharing more testimonies to the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus. What a mighty God. Let's, let's hear from her. I see somebody in, in warm water and I'm wondering, hot water, warm water, why? And the Lord said, that's the person that can do nothing with cold water. There is a terrible affliction. I don't know whether it's an allergy or whether it's whatever it is. Cold water to bath or to do anything is never. You can't go near that. I take authority over that plague. Tonight it is broken. Can somebody say loud amen? A plague of over 30 years. People, will you just stand up on your feet and just give him a shout of praise first. A shout of praise. A plague of almost 30 years broken just like that. I don't know for how long that plague has been with you. Tonight is the end of it. Give the Lord a praise. Take your seat, yes. Rose. Olawoye. As about Delta State. Good evening, brethren. I want to testify to the glory of God. A friend of mine named Ifi told me about command the Deminite prayer on the 30th of December 2023 and encouraged me to join. I joined on the 3rd of January. That's four days later. That's prompt. 2024. And since I joined, I have been glued to the program. One, my prayer life has totally changed. One, the very first night I joined the command day, midnight prayer, the pain that I was having after childbirth disappeared. Two, I sent the link to my cousin who was having accommodation issues. And I encouraged him to join an ED. He was having issues with his landlady and the landlady gave him quick notice. After he joined the command of the day, I prayer, the very first week he joined, his elder brother called him to come to Port Accord. When he got to Port Accord, his elder brother took him to a duplex and changed the name on the house documents to his name and told him from now on, this is your house. From being challenged by landlord to owning a duplex of your own. Are you kidding me? Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. He said, I don't want you to be looking for a house to rent again. You are now the landlord of this property. Three. Since last year, my neighbors, neighbor upstairs, they have been throwing stones once it is 12 midnight. My husband complained to our landlord and the landlord called for a meeting. And told our neighbor that they should stop disturbing us with that activity. After the meeting, my husband and I began to face one problem after another. To the point that my hair was shaved. I don't know how I lost my hair. But since I joined, commanded them in a prayer on the very first night that I joined the prayers. The throwing of stones reduced. The next morning, those neighbors. <laughs> the first night. It is 12 midnight, they are throwing the stone, and it's 12 midnight, she's throwing her own spiritual stone. The next morning, those neighbors were looking at me somehow. They could not withstand the prayer since I joined the program. And they have packed out from the compound. 
Hey! I give her all the glory and the honor. I do not take all these testimonies from this prayer altar for granted. Thank you, Jesus. If you are trusting God for somebody to change house document and make it your own, you need to stand up and celebrate. If you are trusting God for every demonic agent to pack out for you from the place where you are working, they just pack away from your neighborhood. Then you can stand up and let's celebrate God for 60 seconds. Let's go. You are worthy, Lord, of our prayer. You are worthy, Lord, of our prayer. Hey, oh Lord, thank you. Thank you. 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 Oh, we say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Baba, we say. And let's appreciate the King of Kings. Appreciate the Lord of Lords. Oh, what a mighty, mighty faithful God. Go before God right now. 30 seconds of appreciation, another 60 seconds of supplication, and we shall see the manifestations. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, will you be off your feet, up, your, up on your feet, hands lifted, and let us speak to God. Let's worship him.
I stand here by the mantle of God upon my life, by the prophetic and apostolic mantle, by the God who gives liberally and says, it is not of him that we live, and not of him that runneth, but of God that shows mercy. I make demands on that mercy from above, and I declare today the release of everyone whose glory has been stolen, everyone whose glory has been diverted, everyone whose destiny has been tempered with, I decree a reversal, I decree a restoration, I decree an intervention in the name of Jesus. Everybody whose favor has been tempered with, everybody whose shining has been corrupted, every work of manipulation and diabolism, every work of the occult and work of witchcraft, anywhere they have done anything that is contrary to your life and to the purpose of God, for your life I declare that yoke is broken. Receive your visitation, there he is. See a name, E-H-I-S. I don't know if it's the whole name. Or it does, or it does a complete completion. Let us suffer at her. What the enemy did to tamper with your life and tamper with your destiny and tamper with your glory and tamper with your favor and tamper with your life. I declare the reversal right now in the name of Jesus. And when you are there, when you are there, when you are there. When you are there, I declare that spell of rejection broken. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to Yakubu as well. When God has laid his hands on you, the devil cannot lay his finger on you. Hey, I speak to you today. That finger of the devil on your life, whether it has come in form of an affliction in your body, or it has come in form of a, a, a garment of shame or reproach, or the spirit of death, I declare it roasted by fire in the name of Jesus, somebody shout glory. I see the Lord visiting a baker, baking bakery, not just um, cake baking, it may be, but it's almost to the level of bread and all of that. I see God expanding you and stretching you and enlarging the coast and he's telling you to get ready for expansion because there's an explosion coming. Let the feet and root at the gali You have been a victim of a lot of hostility and enemy, hostility and, 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 and enmity and, and, and jealousy, but that is broken right now and you are getting ready to expand. I speak to somebody here today. Every satanic agenda Every jealousy, every limitation on your life is broken in the name of Jesus. I speak to a Gabriela. I declare today the agenda of the enemy in this regard is broken. Manipulation, occultic manipulation, witchcraft, the powers of envy, jealousy is broken. I declare the opening up of your destiny, the hand of God upon your life to do great things. Things. No devil can stop it in the name of Jesus. I see a lot of, all right. The right side of the chest affliction is broken. But now the Lord is giving me a prophetic decree on every business that has a siege. Business that was working and prospering and succeeding. All of a sudden there seemed to be a siege. And there is a prophetic picture that I see. Get ready because in that business premises, very soon, people will queue up for what you are doing. And, they are, and they'll be wondering what kind of thing is this. 
can they buy from somewhere else? How are people queuing in? I want you to get your camera ready because we are going to snap the picture and send to us in the name that is above every name. I declare in the name of Jesus, a new season, a new chapter, a new manifestation is your portion in the name of Jesus. I see a millionaire auto mechanic. Auto mechanic is your work right now. But God is shifting you in dimensions and shifting you in level. And you are stepping into spare parts dealing side by side with that. That is going to us usher you into millions. I prophesy upon you. Probably as I speak now, the idea and the vision is already there. But I declare explosion. I declare increase. I declare the shift to the next level. You believe that? Shall the Lord say amen. I don't know if Tobias is a name that is a current name or Tobia, whatever. But the T-O-B-I-A is in the name. Leos, aparata, kanagalayata, sinadush. Let a fret, a sinagalaratasana. A season just ended in your life and you are stepping into a, another season. But this season is going to be a season of speed. A season, a season of race. A season of explosion. A season of impact. In the name that is above every name. I see the limitations of yesterday buried. And I see acceleration. And I speak to everyone who has ended this season. Maybe you just stepped out of school. Maybe you just finish with a job or maybe you just relocated to another country i announce to you today a chapter ended another chapter is beginning and you are stepping with acceleration and speed you believe that shout the loudest amen i see the visitation on fruit juice business god is moving Somebody into wisdom of expansion, greater dimension. Lord, I, I, how do I take this to the next level? That wisdom, that vision, that revelation is upon you right now. If you believe that, shout the loudest, amen. If you believe that, shout the loudest, amen. I see the power of God hidden on a waste affliction. And, and at this junction, the Lord will want me to deal with every form of pain in your body. Place your hand on that on that waist where you are or wherever the pain is. I take authority over every pain. Lose your grip right now. Get back to hell in the name of Jesus. Be healed and behold. There is somebody with a name that starts with a D. With a right ear that is closed. I curse that ear affliction i command the ear to open right now in the name of jesus whether it's a dennis or a david or a daniel i command that ear to be open whether it's the first name or the son name and everyone with such an affliction it is opened in jesus name the lord shows me a creative miracle on the life of a child child born with a deformity whether it's a deformed physical body or deformity in the heart with hole in the heart or congenital inguinus a deformity something was born with the child that needs to, needs surgery to be corrected right now jehovah will correct it overnight i declare i see an agatha that is connected whether it's the mother or the relation of the, of, of the child a particular child in this category there are hundreds of children that will benefit from this prophetic word but i declare overnight that surgery is carried out by jehovah and the child wakes up normal in the name of jesus christ wow the woman is draining liquor prematurely it's not time to deliver but water is coming up water is breaking no that is not correct that is not correct i speak tonight by the mantle of god that liquid drainage is arrested right now i command that this pregnancy shall not be aborted it shall be carried full term and delivered safely father thank you for doing the surgery and i saw the one that is very very strange the drainage of the cerebrospinal fluid through the nose very risky. 
the fluid of the brain is coming through the nose. Father, whatever is the, the reason for this, thing, whether it's a fracture of the, of the skull or whatever, a crack on the base or the membrane, whatever it is, I decree. Now, it's not something that you are guessing. The doctors have analyzed it. That is, this is not sinusitis or rhinitis of normal fluid from the nose. This is the brain fluid coming through the nose. I declare tonight, the last time it came out is the last forever. It is hereby arrested. If you are saying amen, shout the Lord and say amen. Somebody with a name that starts with a B that was born with, 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 with middle ear infection, or otitis media, or thoria, and very smelly, stinky discharge from the ear permanently on oh, her shatata. Very embarrassing. You step in anywhere and they begin to smell the discharge and it's flowing continuously. Ah, and every other person in this category, whatever is the cause of it, I declare it is arrested forever. That smelly ear discharge is arrested. In the name of Jesus, a burn is in this category. I declare it arrested right now. In Jesus' precious name. God is setting somebody free. Now, whether it is your case or not, you just say amen for them so that God will answer you. It's setting somebody free from the spell of gambling. Money is being wasted through gambling. Money is being finished through gambling. I declare today, oh, I see the head of a whole house who should have been in multiple millions. He squandered his resources on gambling. Today, I declare that spell is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. I see a child that is a concern in gambling. It is broken. Now, there's another type that Somebody whose name starts with an M is a victim of, and that is online borrowing. Borrowing from platforms. You see, just, just, that, there, is, there is that pressure to keep borrowing, to just keep borrowing. And you are neck deep in debt right now. And every other person in that category, the last time the urge came, shall be the last forever. Somebody shout, power! To show that you are the one I'm talking about. As I speak to you, there is a pain like the, the, the place of the kidney on the right flank, right at the back there. Yes, I declare that that pain is gone. And it's a sign to you that that spell is broken from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy to someone in property's business. And everybody into properties, get ready. Because God is shifting your level to, from renting one, one houses, one house and one house, to building your own property and, and for, for sale and for rent. I prophesy upon robots. I declare today the embargo is broken. You will cross the limit of your father's house, even in that property's business. A child that is breech is turning as the time is approaching 37, 30, 37 weeks and so on. And the leg of the child is down, the head is up. Oh no, I, I cannot afford cesarean session. Lord, I need a miracle. I announce to you today, child turn now in the name of Jesus. He's turning head down and leg up in Jesus' name. I see a young man who is attracted to men. Young man, you have no care for, you don't feel any trace of feeling for women. It don't mean nothing to you. Rather, you feel pushed towards men. It's a homosexual devil. And that was a child that had abuse as a child, as a young child. I'm speaking of a child between the high school of SS3 and university level. You haven't gone into that life yet, but the attraction, the push is strong. I declare today, and as I speak right now, the gay devil, the spirit of homosexuality, that gay spirit, I declare it is broken. That devil that is making you to look for men is broken. That devil that is making you to feel for women as a woman, I declare the yoke is broken right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see somebody looking for a key restlessly. A very, very important key. Now, God is going to show you where it is. 
And along with this, I see somebody looking for a lot of things. And then under his sofa, something that was missing was hidden right there. Now, someone, your, yours is a document. I declare today, overnight, right there, what has been missing is found in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Someone here tonight, yours is spiritual fire. And you want the glory restored. Lift up your two hands where you are. While we are doing that hyperprolactinemia, milk flow from the breast is arrested. Uh, menstrual cycle that has stopped to cease is arrested right now. Menstrual cycle that has been on for a long time is arrested right now. A menstrual cycle that ceased for more than 18 months is returning back right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready to connect with that glory? Lift up your hands right now. Father, we give you the praise. Before we receive the impartation of glory, anywhere you are from around the world, and you are saying to me, Pastor, I want to give my life to Christ. I want today to mark a new day for me. Place your hand on your chest and pray this prayer after me. And say after me, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in need of your help. Today, it is my decision to follow you. No turning back. From today, I go forward ever and backward never. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. On the screen, the details are on the screen. Let us know how that you made up your mind to serve Jesus today. I will be glad to speak with you. Stretch your two hands in front of you. And Father, I pray for the hands. I declare that their harvest will look for them from the north, the south, the east, and the west. What is yours? No devil shall stop and no devil shall keep. In Jesus' precious name. You go ahead and honor God with your tithes, with your offerings. Some people have the habit of planting a seed when a prophetic word is given and then they see the results. Uh, we have heard that testimony many times on this altar. Feel free to do likewise if you feel convinced that you can do that. Hallelujah. Father, we give you the praise and we give you the honor. We give you the adoration. Kaduna people get set. We shall be in Kaduna for the Kaduna healing and deliverance crusade and then command the day in that prayer broadcast all the way from Kaduna. London, England people get ready. In fact, Europe get ready for the release of the fire of God in Europe in the month of April. Get ready in Ethiopia. Get ready in Kenya and get ready in Canada and get ready in America and so on and so forth and the journey continues we give you the praise and the honor because Lord you are faithful be glorified and be honored now lift up your two hands and get ready to receive the impartation of the glory tomorrow night we shall apply for mercy somebody say mercy the mercy of God is the reason why you are not wasted by the enemy mercy will see other things as we connection with the, with the mercy of God tomorrow night and there shall be diverse expressions. Lift up your hands right now. Are you ready to receive the restoration of the glory that is due to you? Shout the loudest amen. If you are ready to receive an impartation of glory that belongs to you, shout the loudest amen. Lift your hands. Are you ready? When I say in the name of Jesus, one, two, three, you scream glory and place your hand on your head. And your glory that the devil tried to divert is coming back to you. Father, let that glory be released and be returned. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. One, two, and three. Glory. Go ahead and pray. Jesus. Amen. Lift up your phones one more time tonight. Father, 
I declare that the systems are coming under pressure in the name of Jesus. They are coming under pressure. Systems under pressure. Systems under pressure. Systems under pressure. Every everything that is yours. Everything that is yours. Everything that is yours. Every call that belongs to you that is positive. Every resources that is yours that is positive. Wherever they are, the, the systems are put under pressure. They lose their peace and sleep and rest until what is yours is released. I call it done. In Jesus' precious name. Somebody shout the loudest amen. Somebody shout a loud most amen. Somebody shout a believer's amen. See you tomorrow for a night of mercy. We have the midweek service and we are on the journey of faith. Very impactful. Kaduna. Now say this prayer after me and say, Father. Say it. Say, Father. We ask, we ask for your move, for your move in, Kaduna in Kaduna State. We take authority, we take authority over the spirit. Over the spirit. Oh. Over the spirit. Of the, spirit of the land. Of the land. We bind the devil. We, we take authority, we take authority over, the over the territorial spirit, the territorial powers of that land. Of that land. We, declare we declare them arrested in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and speak to God. <laughs> In Jesus precious name Amen. so shall it be before I go we go that dream that they told you that they saw the devil dead not you that dream returns back to hell Amen Somebody else is dreaming of you. I'm talking of the last 24, 48 hours. Coming to threaten you. Not necessarily that they have a meaning of treasure. Just the devil passing through, through a careless person. To threaten you with a nonsensical, useless dream. I'm not saying you. It's the devil that they saw dead. I wanted to tell you that that dream is trash. What the Americans call hogwash. Is, is good for the toilet. We set it on fire. Amen. You will fulfill your days. Amen. Right? If you dream about yourself and you dream such a dream, kill it. Amen. If anybody dreams such a dream, tell him, send it to the devil. Amen. In Jesus' name, you shall fulfill your days. Amen. Somebody shout the loudest, amen. amen. 2024 and above only. 2024 and above only. God bless you. Go ahead and celebrate.